Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn a small topic called limited box. Most of the users get confused between the use of limited box and the size box. Here, I will cover the differences between them. So without wasting time, let's get started. Limited box is a widget that constrains the size of its child if it is unbounded by its parent. It means when we have a parent widget, that won't have any size constraint. For example, a parent won't have any constraint for width or the height for the child. So in this scenario, we can make the use of limit box to limit the size means to limit the width and height of the child widget. It is important to note that limit box will work only when the size of a widget is unconstrained. It means if it is constrained, then this limit box is useless. Let's understand what happens when we use limit box for the widget that has the parent having size constraint. So we have a container placed inside this limit box and for this container scaffold act as the parent. So we know that scaffold has the bounded height and bounded width. So in this case, we can observe now, even though we have placed this container inside the size box and we have the maximum size of 300 pixel, container has acquired entire height available on the screen. This is because uh, this container is placed inside the scaffold and scaffold has the bounded height. That is the reason this limit box won't work here. So let me uncomment this height and let me save the code. You can observe now as I have specified height of 500 pixels here, container is taking this 500 pixel height. So you can observe now again here, this limit box is not limiting the height of container. Limit box is used inside the widgets which have unbounded height or width. For example, list view and single chess scroll view they have unbounded height or unbounded width in case of row we have the unbounded width and column has the unbounded height so let me wrap this uh, limit box inside a column so when i place it inside a column now what is happening for this container now scaffold is not a direct parent it is actually a column and we know that column is a widget that has the unbounded height and now for that reason this limit box now comes in picture and it will have the effect so let me save my code here. You can see earlier the height of my container was 500 pixel, but now limit box is limiting the height of container and it is just applying the height of 300 pixels here. So let me make the height as 100 pixel and you can observe now the height of this container has reduced. So even though my container has got the height of 500 pixels here, so it is not at all working. This limit box is providing a limit of specific height for this container. Using this limit box, we can also apply the maximum width for the container. But make sure that this maximum width is going to work only in the case when we have unbounded width. Now let's see how limited box is different than the size box. Size box gives the exact size to widget. Whereas limited box provides the size constraint only and only when child has no size constraint. You can observe now, we have a limited box and that contains a text widget. Basically for this text, scaffold will act as the direct parent that is it is actually the parent for this text and that is the reason uh, as the scaffold has the bounded height. So limit box won't work here. You can see now I have made this maximum height as 80 pixel but even though this text will uh, get this entire height available. So you can see now this limit box is not working here. So let me replace this limited box by the size box. So let's write a size box. And we need to change this max height to say height because size box just have the height. So let me save the code. You can observe now this particular size box is giving uh, the specific size to this text. And that is the reason the text below the specific size is getting clipped. Let's see another example for understanding the difference. Here I have taken the list view dot builder. I have used list view dot builder because list view has unbounded height. So I simply have the 10 items here. And to build the items, I'm using a container and that has the margin of 16 pixel. Then we have alignment in center so that we can see uh, this particular text that is the child inside the center. And I have used orange color for all these containers. So you can observe now, uh, we simply have a container with the height of 100 pixels here. Let me wrap this container inside the size box widget. So let's write here size box. And for this size box, I will use say height of 300 pixels here. So as I have used the size box and when I save the code, you can observe now, all these boxes will change their sizes to 300 pixel. It means the size of container is now getting ignored and the size given by the size box is followed. Now let me replace this size box by the limited box. So let's write here limited box and instead of height we simply have to use here max size. And now you will observe now 
as uh, I'm using this limited box, you can observe now, the size of container is not actually the 300 pixel. Whereas when we use size box, it is going to make exact height of this particular container as a 300 pixel. But in case of limited box, it is not making the height as 300 pixel. Rather, it is providing the maximum height limit. So when we have a container having the height of 100 pixel, so it can work if I make the height as say 200 pixel. Again, this is going to work. But if I make the height as say 500 pixel, so it is not going to work means this particular limit box will limit or it will control the height of container so that it should not go beyond the specific height. So make sure that it is not giving the exact height. It is giving the maximum height limits means container can have the height below than 300 pixel. But if when it goes uh, just beyond the limit of this 300 pixel, this limit box will come into the picture. For example, let's say if I make it 200, you can see now this container is now uh, working with just the height of 200 pixels. So whatever height of your container is, it is going to restrict or it is going to limit for the, the specific height or specific width that we have specified. So uh, if it is not clear for you, make sure that size box use exact size and limit box allows us to apply certain limit uh, for maximum height and maximum width. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.